guys, what's going on? It's Master Jazz Weekly. Whoa! Another delicious, lengthy intro to Massive Joe's Weekly Word, episode 17, Evosh. You had a fair few veins in your neck there, mate. Yeah, because I, mate, I gave it everything for that intro. You did. Oh, people have been complaining the intro's not 100, so yeah. I'm going to make the intro's 100. You know what you've been giving everything, mate? What? That f***ing haircut, mate. <laughs> oh, mate, look at it. Wow. I was just saying, before we started recording, going to go see Rob tomorrow. I'm praying he doesn't it up because it's on point right you know the gains tour goes off next week so i'm gonna be the, the hair point has to be on fleek and this shit is clean as got any man. longer mate you look like a cameron diaz <laughs> or something about mary <laughs> just in his hand. do you do the old spider-man on yourself in the morning no nah, i use five a seat over the old spider do you know what spider-man is yeah i know what spider-man is <laughs> spider web boom all right <laughs> so I hope deal with Luke most of that. <laughs> <laughs> Topics of discussion <laughs> Back in stock, new products oh coming boy. soon, monthly specials, flat rate shipping, gains to a team down the USA, ask me. You guys are in for one hell of an episode, man. But First topic of discussion, Nevosh. Has to be 45 minutes because you have... Uh, less than 45. Well, you've got a meeting with the bank. We're only doing um, 20... Uh, we've, got 39, we've got 39 more minutes to you've yeah. got a meeting. Alright, let's go. Bo back, back in stock. Yep. Anesthetized? AKA Sleepy Juice, man. I love that shit. I, you know what? Sleep formulas. All right, do before. Sleep. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, boom. boom. Sleep formulas on and off for me over the years. Like I've been a big fan of Resurrect PM, man. I like Blackstone Labs growth. I've liked, you know, anesthetized. Like honestly, it's one. It's a. It's a. For, like, I won't sleep without it. Yeah. Because I am just that much more productive during the day. This shit is unreal. Love it. Onward, boom! Back into house. Both flavors as well, man. The berry and the watermelon. Stay away from that berry, man. I love the berry. watermelon. Interflex. Yeah. Joint formula. Joint, formula. joint protection. A little bit of a price rise on the Interflex, courtesy of the Australian dollar. On everyone's chest right now. Clash pink lemonade. Boom! That fell out for a little bit. It did. With a vast stack. Vast stack's been gone. I only got off. one. I only got one email about its whereabouts though. Yeah, but so, now Clash back in all flavors, which means vast stack back in all flavors. Brian Gaines. If you happen to give a Chris, Chris Jones. Pre OG as well, man. Don't forget it. Both Chris Jones products back in stock, man. Pre OG, the pre-workout. Branch Gaines. Um, Delicious green apple intra workout, all day amino acids. Gold stuff standard in there. pre apple. Green apple, yeah, that's been out Apple's forever. Back in stock. And that just came back in this week. Uh, what else you got? Gaspari glyco fuse. Yeah. Speaking of being out forever, that's been out this forever. Been out for like a year. I actually thought I was under the impression because the Australian distributor didn't have any for like six months that Gaspari had discontinued glyco fuse. I'm and I'd been spreading that to the people, to the good yeah, people of the Fit Fam. <laughs> Um, my, uh, this used to be my it was favorite. back. back Both flavors. Back in the day. Orange mango, strawberry kiwi, that cyclic dextrin. Some people love cyclic dextrin, man. I do. I've been using Highly branched it. as um, well. Yeah. Which means it. it's, it's a complex, simple carb, if that makes any sense. I, I used to it's have- a simple carb with a complex structure. I used to have the glycofuse in the strawberry kiwi. Good with for the, intra -workout. With the amino last in the strawberry kiwi. Mm. It was mm. delicious. Speaking of strawberry kiwi, that's delicious. Mm. A Cobra 6 in the call with strawberry kiwi. Team J wrist wraps back in stock mm -hmm. as well yeah. as the long awaited. Just dropped today, man. Team J zip ups. Zip up hoodies. Can you back see? in the house. You see the zip on them? Clean hoodies, man. Heavyweight too. Why? Keep you warm as f. They should really be. Those, you know what? I would go so the TMJ to down the sleeve. At the moment, that that is my favourite piece of TMJ apparel. No, zip I don't. Up hoods. It's not mine. I f hate zips. I, I, I hate love zip them ups. because they're so heavy and they've got the big embroidery. Yeah, and the high quality embroidery. No, we should get them. I like pockets and hoods. See, I'm wearing crew neck, but I because do you know how many times I went to the shop yesterday? Yeah. Do you know how many times I chuck shit in that front pouch? Yeah. Like my wallet, my phone, my keys. But that's got a front pouch on it. It's just got a zip. I'm talking about the crew neck here, mate. Ah. Oh, Why okay. does it always have to be about you, you, mate? I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, New you products. can get them with flat rate worldwide 995 shipping, man. On orders over 100 Shut up! It's not about that yet. Next topic of discussion, Nate. 
Oh no, don't tell me that this, Joe. New products, Joe! There he is. There he is. <laughs> uh, War Juice by Finally. Mike Rashid. Probably the most alpha mother we've ever seen. Yeah. Mike Rashid. If you'd be anyone, you'd be Mike Rashid, wouldn't if you? I, if I had to come back as a different human being, I would come back as Mike Rashid. Yeah. He is. We've got the opportunity to hang out with him for a while. He's one. Have lunch with him, train with him. He is you know how some guy. guys say they're like they're alpha and they're all about like alpha, alpha, and I'm yeah. like, but they're, Mike but really Rashid is. Alpha. But really they should change the word alpha to Mike Rashid. Yeah. That's how alpha Mike Rashid is. Yeah. It's not alpha. What a boss. It's not alpha. It's Mike Rashid. What a boss. All right. Uh, and also, <laughs> we said it a few times, but Hyde is now in new flavors. And re slightly reformulated and new flavors. In particular, is that the cotton candy? Yep. Yeah. Cotton candy, Mr. Hyde viewers at home. As well as the Jekyll. Get yourself some of that shit. And the new uh, updated version of Dr. Jekyll is also in there. Cobra 6, mate. Yeah. Next topic of discussion, Nee. Is it pronounced Cobra or Cobra? Uh, we in Australia pronounce it Cobra. In the US, they say Cobra. All right. All right. Uh, coming soon. Yeah. New core, new core Fury Extreme. Next week. MTS. Possibly this week. We might be doing a... No. Let's say next week. MTS Barracuda Mango. This week. Max's Transformation Series. Hold on, you said Barracuda Mango? Yep. Mm. Boom. Uh, Maxes have the new protein, so they got the night protein. This is the transformation series. Yeah, so this is particularly for the Maxes challenge, which is about to start in two weeks' time. So we've got the lean protein. Actually, not two weeks' time, so that's Monday week. Lean protein, night protein. So take protein. next Monday, add a week, Maxes challenge starts. Get and up on protein. the shit, man. So they're a bit of a beginner product. I mean, they've already got their. They've already got their and the Maxes, the Maxes. They've, the they've already got their products, which are obviously very good products, but now these are more of an entry level beginner for people who are just looking to make transformations. So they've made it pretty simple with the lean mass and night protein. And finally, they've, they've let the cat out of the bag and done an actual fat loss supplement instead of a fat loss protein powder, which you guys know what we think about. Yeah. Um, they've got Maxine's XT Burn. Yeah. For the, for the yeah. pushy cats. Raw review on that drops next week, man. We, we actually had it this morning. We tried it and it's, yeah. uh, I had a lot of stims today. Well, not really. It's only 50 milligrams of caffeine in that. Yeah, but I've had like a cob of six. You get more caffeine looking at a, uh, a tub of drop factor. I do. Than that. All right. Uh, Ice Toy Prego. Yep. Overpriced as f <laughs> Tell us how you really think. No, they're just tripping a f on us. <laughs> are we going to get it in? I think we, we, have, have, to. we have to get in. It's going to be great, expensive. Me and, you ha me and you have luckily... Stephen, the uh, CEO of Ice Story, was yeah. lucky enough to send us one of each flavour of Prego. So this distributor doesn't know this and they probably don't watch our videos, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. But they sent us three tubs of each flavour and as well as the Hyper Go. Yeah. So we tried it. It's, it's, off the, it's, it's, it's an off, amazing pre-workout. Amazing. We are going to get it in, but because of the uh, Australian dollar the, yeah. and the distributor. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. going to be really expensive, man. Yeah, really expensive. And you have to double scoop it really as well. Yeah, fuck. But anyway, anyway, that's coming soon. That should be here next week also. Anyway, uh, HPN. Yep. P3. Their pre workout from HPN, makers of NR, that'll be available next week. Pro also, Pro Zero. With Pro Zero, which is their vegan friendly protein. Yep. Doctors agree that Pro Zero is among the world's best sources of lean protein powder. Yeah. What doctors. I don't know. Do these but food? it's a, it's a combination. Yeah, it's a combination of pea protein and brown rice protein. So for people that don't want dairy, don't want whey, or are vegan, that would be your protein of choice. Yep. De novo Utopia. Still working on pricing with our oh, brothers man, at De novo. I, We have to really scrap that because it's been taking too long. Core <laughs> MRP. Hey, you are vicious today. Well, it's been on the. It reminds me of that Instagram post that you put up yesterday. <laughs> actually, let me get this up for the YouTube subscribers that may not follow us on Instagram. You should because you'll be missing. No, uh, you haven't put it on Instagram, have you? No, I haven't. But I'm going to go back to the original post. So, ne <laughs> <laughs> follow us on Instagram. Nevos puts this. Well, I put this photo up of Nevos holding the gains to a poster. And uh, in the poster, to be honest, it's a high angle. You don't look like you've got cards. <laughs> and so somebody made a comment in there, and I'll read it to you guys because you won't be able to see it. Uh, somebody made a comment, if chocolate goes straight to the biceps, so he obviously watches our videos. Uh, what goes straight to the calves? Because need movement needs some of that shit pronto. Yeah. Immediately, Neve hits him back with. <laughs> <laughs> I said if. Maybe if your missus bedroom was upstairs, they'd get more <laughs> work now. What the f*** comment on my calves? <laughs> Bitches. 
Uh, all right, back to weekly word. Uh, Core MRP coming soon as well. <laughs> yeah, Core MRP, the permits have been done. We're working on the veterinary certificates from the uh, US FDA. And that's going to be on its way, man. And Douglas will be yeah, all yeah. flames. Next topic of discussion, Eve. Monthly specials. Yeah, boom. Dilla, cut the monthly specials into the video right now. And while they're up on screen, man, I'm going to tell you, we got some awesome monthly specials this month, don't yeah. we? We got the gold standard stack, man. You got 20 flavor combinations in the gold standard stack, which is a 50 serve way with the gold standard pre with a free shirt. We got 20% uh, off pro subs PS way on the big tubs and small tubs. Dude. We got, uh, what else we got, Nick? Well, I don't know. I'm trying to look for your f***ing picture here. No, it won't. It won't still, it won't what about the, um, if you buy two BSN products, you get the BSN headphones? The BSN headphones, buy two B any two BSN products, no minimum span, get the headphones. The gold, standard, the, pre, the gold standard stack, so you get 1.5. Yeah, I just mentioned that. Oh, yep. uh, oh, the Ronnie Coleman, the lightweight baby stack with the free lifting straps. Test stack extreme, Barracuda oh. and Venus. And when the mango comes out, that'll be available too in the, the test Arnold stack. The Arnold mask with the free oh. Me, all right, you got to see them. On the show. Next. Next topic of discussion: me. Flat rate apparel worldwide shipping. Oh, fine. So finally, for oh. worldwide, any purchase uh, over hundred bucks gets flat rate shipping in nine ninety five Australian dollars. Anywhere in the world. So if you're American, that's about seven dollars twenty. And it's hundred Australian dollars. So anything over hundred Australian dollars to ship anywhere in the world will cost you nine ninety five Australian dollars. So it's a minimum spend of about seventy five American dollars. Yeah. And then you'll add on about seven dollars fifty shipping. And I well. think this is the bonus of the Australian dollar shitting on our chest at the moment and decreasing in value is if you live anywhere else in the world, things produced in Australia or paid for in Australian dollars are cheap as yeah. including TMJ apparel. Yeah. So it's a hundred Australian dollars. Well, worldwide shipping for nine ninety five. Yeah, and it's not snail mail, man. It's three it's days. It's fast. Like you've shipped out a bunch already. How long is it taking to get to the US, for example? If, if they're leaving here on a Monday, yeah. they'll be landing to Australia time on a Thursday. Where pick another country you've shipped to so far? Uh, so we've gone to America, yeah. UK. How long to the UK? Three days. Three days. But well, everywhere's three days. Express. It's unbelievable. Uh, nine ninety five. New Zealand. Anywhere. In the New Zealand. World. Australia. Obviously. Nine ninety five. Express. America. Norway. Norway was one. Yeah, how long? Sweden. Three days. It's all three days. Unbelievable. They go to the fucking airport and they get on the next So now, no flight. excuse not to rep Team Massive Joe's, baby. And you get, tracking, you get tracking and email notifications the whole way. Unbelievable. Next topic of discussion, Neep. Uh, Gains Tour. Yeah. So check out the Gains Tour video. Yeah, we dropped them last week, man. Starts next week. Starts August 13, runs to August 20. We're doing Ballarat. We're doing Adelaide. We're doing Wollongong. We're doing Brisbane, Gold Coast, Christchurch, and Auckland, mother mm -hmm. I'm excited. You, Mark Lezano, Doug Miller, and Sean Tabardi. And Dilip, the cutting specialist. Dilip, oh, Dilip, Dilip. Right. Go check out the video, full details, or massivejoes.com forward slash events. Go to the website, you'll see it all there. Yeah, all right. it's gonna be epic. Team Jam in the USA. Boom! Season three. Yeah! It's like keeping up with the Kardashians. It's happening. Except where the carb dash We've started to get a lot of questions. Obviously, the Olympia's around the corner. You guys know that's when we've been doing Well, it's six, week, it's six weeks this coming weekend. You get, you, you, you six weeks out? Six weeks out. What do we know so far? It's not 100% confirmed. We're still playing around with dates and, and where we're gonna be, but what do we know so far? You told me a little bit. So we're going to. LA. Yep. Vegas. Yep, obviously Ch for the Olympia. Chicago. Yep. Pennsylvania. Uh, yep. Back to LA. Uh, we're doing Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Well. What's yeah. in Cincinnati? Yep. What's that? Uh, uh, MTS. What's in Pennsylvania? Uh, MTS. Yeah, the MTS uh, production, the MTS Way production facility is in Pennsylvania. Oh, that's what we're checking out. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. So that's what it's looking like at the moment. We're looking like. Uh, arriving into the US, arriving into LA on like the 12th or 13th of September, and this week is going to be for two, this year is going to be for two weeks. Yep. So we're going to be traveling around for two weeks. We might do Texas, we're not 100% sure. That might be going down, but we're just, we're still playing around with dates. But it's definitely on. Tim J in the USA, season three is happening, confirmed. It's just a bit hard with uh, you and I both at the office for so long. Yeah, well, you take the two big dogs out of the, the, the main crew, it creates a bit of a hole. But it's only for two weeks, so it's yeah. all good. Yep. Next topic of discussion, Nick. Oh, okay. All right, let's go. We've got uh, about 50 questions. We opened up for Ask Neve last week. I'm only going to go through 20. I'm going through the top 20. I need a pen. I'm going to have 
I'm pan up in this bitch. That's you, all right. You've got 25 minutes. All right, we'll just, we'll just, we'll- You've got to the 40 minute mark. Okay, so we'll just answer questions for the next 25 minutes. As many we get through, we'll get through. Yeah. The rest of them we'll save for next week. I will ask you guys to hold your ask need questions for next week's episode. Because we got shitloads here, man. Yeah. This will get us at least through this episode and the next episode. Yeah. Did Dill pick that kid to complain on Periscope? No. No? no. <laughs> Sorry, Dean. All right. He was from Arizona. Uh, Carter, Carter West Donis wants to know, Greetings, fellas. Keep up the great work. You guys are a great inspiration for both my fitness goals and business aspirations. I take MTS Drop Factor and Alcapure before I do fasted cardio. I know it's a long shot, but I was wondering if you have any estimates on the effectiveness of MTS Drop Factor and Alcapure in regards to calorie expenditure. For example, during a recent 50 minute medium intensity cardio session, I completed my Garmin heart rate monitor stated I achieved an average heart rate of 156 beats per minute with my max being 166 beats per minute. Using this data along with other metrics, Garmin estimated my caloric output at 756 calories. I know it's just an estimation, however, if I took it as 100% accurate, what extra calories would I have expended due to taking MTS Drop Factor and Alcapure? Apologies if this does not make sense. Thank you kindly. I don't know. That's one hell of a question. I don't know the science behind it. I mean, personally, I don't know about the like, actual calorie expenditure, but I mean, Taking that, especially before your pre-workout as well, is going to yeah. make you work at a high intensity. Well, it's going to increase your heart rate. And work out and increase... As the best, you know energy. what, Carter? The best way to do it is to use your Garmin thing. And just keep in mind, it's an estimate. It's not going to be 100% accurate. But use it without Drop Factor and Alcapure. See what it estimates. And then the next morning, take Drop Factor and Alcapure. Wear the heart rate monitor again. See what it estimates. And find the difference. It's going to be different for everyone as well, that's the thing. Yeah, but yeah. then that's only measuring for that 50 minute cardio session, you're not incorporating, drop factor is going to stay in your system for like four to five hours. Mm. So it's going to increase caloric expenditure over four to five hours, not just during the exercise. Yeah. Yeah, but give that a shot, man. Matt Clark wants to know, should I drink BCAAs throughout the day if my mass gainer already has a bunch of BCAAs in there? I take one serving in the morning and one post-workout. I would. I mean, your amino acids are in all, all protein anyway. So yeah. you're still getting amino acids in your like your chicken and your steak and yeah. that kind of shit anyway. Naturally so, I mean, occurring. No, no matter yeah. what, yeah, naturally occurring, obviously. Mm. I mean, is, you, your mass gainer might have added beast of blades in there, Yeah. but still, I enjoy drinking them throughout the day as as much as uh, just a, a taste rather than for the beast of blades. The taste. more BCAAs, the better, in my opinion. Mm. You can't mm. overdose on them bitches. We, we, Matt, we uh, have on tap here. Thomas McPherson, literally. Thomas McPherson, hey fellas, it's Thomas from Perth. Just curious to know if it's normal for the soreness to come two days after training legs and not the immediately following day after you train them. Cheers, guys. Keep up the awesome work uh, on social media. Stay massive. Yeah, well, it's, it's delayed onset of muscle soreness. It just depends how delayed it is. I mean, yeah. Generally, yeah, generally sort of two days after. Did you say the day after? It's, it's, it's yeah, with, most, yeah. with most muscle groups, it's the second day after. Yeah, I don't normally get it. Like, we yeah. trained chest last night. My chest is coming in a little bit sore now, but I know it's going to be. Tomorrow. Yeah, it's, it's only like the day after. The it's only 48 after hours. 48, 36 yeah. to 48 hours for me where the muscle tone really kicks in. Jack Dunn wants to know what is a good caloric range to work with during a four month cut as a 16 week cut knee bosh. Thank you. If I start at 3,100 calories per day, is a certain a point I shouldn't go below? I know when you fellas diet, you start up as high as 4,500 calories, so you have a lot more to play with. Unfortunately, I'm no 100 kg swolger, so I don't have this luxury. Um, I mean, it's all depends on a lot of things. Like, or, I mean, it depends on um, things such as your calorie, or like your your work as well. Expenditure yeah. is what I'm looking at. The word I'm looking at. I mean, yeah. you can keep your calories at three thousand one hundred for the whole sixteen. We don't do this, but you can keep your calorie expenditure for the full three thousand one hundred for the full sixteen weeks. And just do and just shitloads of do cardio. Shitloads of cardio and train yeah. twice a day. And caloric intake's only one half of the equation, man. You got to look at caloric output as well. So I mean, one thing that both of us do when we are dieting, and uh, um, yeah, obviously we're either from America or Joe for show or anything yeah. like that. Um, is one week we'll, we might keep our calories for the same for a four week period, yeah. but increase. Cardio, so you might throw another hip session in a week, might throw another couple of lift sessions in. And to be honest, that's my preferred method. Me of doing too. It. I'd rather my calories as high as possible for as long as possible. That's it. Because not only do you actually feel fuller, yeah. but you're able to maintain more muscle mass because I mean, you're feeding and, your body. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that, that's the thing is a lot of guys say, oh, I, I dieted and I prepped and I didn't do any cardio. Yeah. Well, yeah, they just kept dropping the calories. Yeah. Um, I mean, you could do something that said, I didn't drop my calories, I just increased my output. 
Yeah. So I mean, there's two two sides to the equation there. And you, yeah. It so is, I mean, there's slow nothing. Slow and yeah. steady wins the race as well, Jack. I, I'll give you an example. I'm prepping um, a bunch of people at the moment, but I'm prepping one guy who's eight, uh, seven weeks out now, and his current caloric intake is about 3,500 calories. And we had a discussion uh, last week about other guys that are competing in the same show that are down to 2,000 calories already doing cardio every day, twice a day, yeah. seven weeks out. Where do you go from there? How, where, what do you do when you hit a plateau? You, you can't possibly no, that's do- not, That's not people you're coaching. No, no, that's not people I'm coaching. I'm saying the guy I'm coaching is yeah. doing cardio once a day and on 3,400 calories. Yeah. So it's, it's, you know, you need to keep as many. I, I like to think of cutting as like you've got a bag of tools to help you push through plateaus. Mm. You're not gonna use all those tools right at the start. Yeah. You use, you know, tools as you need them to push through plateaus. So check keep out, your calories check out as Jerry's, Check possible. out Joey's video on the Cutting Chronicles as well. Yeah, or yeah, the Cutting Chronicles, the People's Cut, the Cut of Peace. We've got heaps of videos about that shit. Lee Clays wants to know, hey guys, just wondering what you guys think the best fat burner or fat burning stack is based <laughs> on results. Thanks and good luck with the gains to a Lee from the UK. Uh, both of us will say, um, Drop Factor and Alk Pure, yeah, or C Drop Carnitine. Yeah. I'm a big fan of, as I said, ATP T432. I've been using that with every single meal. Yeah, but that's not really. But that's a not fat, fat burner. burner. That's more of a yeah. fat. Yeah, but fat burner fat stack. Burner. MTS Drop Factor, Creation Supplements, Alk Pure. Can't go wrong. Dave 1000. Hey Neve, I go to the gym super early before work and have been taking Celicor C4, which has been giving me a great gym session. But because I take it so early, I've been crashing in the early afternoon, and it has put me off work. Is there a pre-workout supplement I can take early in the morning that will give me a great workout without the huge crash in the afternoon so I'm able to get through a full day's work? Good now, question. I, now, I don't really crash too much off C4 myself, as it is. Um, you know me thought of that way. You fucking told me <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, like, like we said later, like, Core Fury doesn't give you a crash. Like yeah. MTS Clash doesn't give you, it's any product, pro, normally just products are real high in stims or caffeine. Caffeine in particular. That you'll get the f***ing real bad crash from. Yeah. Um, I mean, you have to remember, man, you f***ing up your training early in the morning. Like, when It I'm, might not be a crash from pre-workout. You might, might just, just be, be getting tired, tired, man. Yeah, which is what it is for me. I mean, even yeah, yeah. When, I, when I was training in the morning a few weeks ago, I f can't do it now. But yeah. I, like 2.30, 3 o'clock would come around, I was feeling like f***ing death. And you look like death too. Yeah. I remember there was an episode of Weekly Word where you were like half asleep. Yeah, Someone so, commented, yeah, so why sleep? was I asleep? Because I've been training in the morning. So yeah, it's, I don't think it's anything to do with the pre-workout, man. It could just be that you're just tired. It's San Tobaz wants to know, what's up, fellas? Getting very excited for the upcoming Gains Tour. So are we, man. So are we. During contest prep, do you count the net carbs in a quest bar or the total carbs? Motherfucker, we've got someone prepping on flexible dieting. I'm currently carb. I'm going to read. I would not. Uh, I wouldn't normally ask this question, but it's been ticked. Let's put it in there. Deal with it. Right. I'm currently carb. So oh, f it gets worse. <laughs> Seven weeks out from Inver Vic titles, I'm currently carb cycling. So on my low carb days, I could fit in the net amount of carbs, but not the total amount. Thanks, guys. Stay massive. I'm gonna let you because if I answer this question, I'm a ripping <laughs> asshole. Seriously. Seven weeks out. And you, you're trying to fit quest bars into a low carb day? Are you f serious? Uh, yeah, uh, for a low carb. You aren't, you aren't. No, so I'm, I'm checking. I'm, I'm, I don't know. For a low carb day, man, I wouldn't be trying to fit a quest bar in there. Put the quest bar down. Next. Honestly, man, seven weeks out. I'm just going to say one thing. thing. I'm not going to get carried away. I, no, I'll just say one thing. You're I'm not going to get carried away. You're going to be away. stepping on stage in front of a thousand people. Seven weeks time in your underpants. Just put the quest bar down for seven weeks. Get quest bars and anything highly processed the f out of your diet. That's it. I'm, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. I'm moving on. Yeah. I can't. Okay. <laughs> Cody Mayfield wants to know, hey guys, I have a question about workout programs when training with a workout partner. My workout partner and I have been training for together for about five months. We have different goals. He's 5'7", 160 and looking to put on more mass, whereas I'm 5'11", 210 and looking to cut. 
Does the fact we have different goals hurt our training or is this just a matter of diet and cardio? I've been gaining weight where he basically maintains the whole time. It's a simple question to work out with a caloric deficit and adding cardio. We currently don't do any cardio, thanks guys, and stay massive from Illinois. Um, yeah, I mean, that's what it is. No matter what, no matter what your goal is, there's no such thing as like, if you want to lose weight, do high reps. If the, if you want the to training it. stays the same. And you and I have done this many times. Yeah. I'll be cutting, you'll be bulking. We still train together. Yeah. Me and Swole, Swole never cuts. He's, all, he, he is, he's on the dream of bulk. He is. Whereas I go through cycles, we train together. It but doesn't make a difference. It, comes, it down comes down to your diet and your cardio. 100%. So you, can, you shouldn't, yeah, don't change. A lot of guys make the, the mistake, and I did it when I was younger. Everyone is, I, I want to cut, I'm going to start doing my reps in the 15 to 20 rep range to tone. Yeah. Or the cut up or whatever. Like, That's bullshit. Do that. You keep, keep training the same. Both train the same in the 8 to 12 rep range. Yep. Go a little bit higher for some exercises, go a little bit lower for some exercises. But yeah, just it's all about your diet and your cardio. Etc. Jay Trello wants to know, hey fellas, when will you be announcing TMJ in the USA season three? Not not uh, long now. Can't wait. Keep up the good work. Rewind about ten minutes. Huh? Rewind the video about ten minutes. Yeah, we already addressed that. The full details should be done by next week. Joshua Tabber wants to know, hey guys, staying massive AF, uh, staying massive as. Here in North Carolina, the pushy cat thinks I'm getting too big. How do I convince her to let me keep making gains? Or do I just need to tell her getting swole is the main goal? I did. I put a Facebook post about this up not long ago. Did you? I need to search on Facebook Instagram. Facebook or Instagram? Instagram. Instagram. All right. Well, I'll let you search for it. And in the meantime, um, yeah, look, man, if your pushy cat thinks you're getting too big, <laughs> This was what I put up on Instagram. So you can go look at knee movement. Get some zoom and focus here. You're not good at getting the zoom and focus here. I got your zoom and focus. See that? Yeah, look at that. You gotta be, you gotta be slow. You gotta treat the camera. And Joe, like. Joe gave it a double tap, as you can see. Like about to Joe was feeling too. it. Look at that. Just hit it with one of those. What does it say? Don't don't get it too big. It's such a good. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. It says double tap. In quotations, go, don't get too big, it's such a turn off. So that's the pushy cat talking. No, honestly, man. Good, turn off, wear your off button, shut up, stop making noise. I'm gonna assume you're natty, um, and even if you're not natty, it probably doesn't make a difference. If your pushy cat thinks you're getting too big, what she's trying to say is you're getting too fat. No, a lot of girls don't like muscle. No, no. Girls do like muscle, they just like lean muscle. They don't like swolgers in the off season. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. So if she thinks you're getting too big, keep making gains, but maybe go on a cut, man. Lose some body fat, get shredded. Push your cuts, love the shredded gains. Uh, it, it depends what your priorities are in life. If, if, if you want the gains, then go for the gains. If you want the push your cut, then maybe keep oh, that I'm getting all those stuff. Yeah, man, I'll, I'll get gains. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Dylan Phillipson wants to know, what's up guys, wondering, how do you guys tell if someone is actually on steroids? Obviously the Mr. Olympia guys are, but when it comes to people like Ulysses, Simeon, some wit whose name I'm not going to say, and people similar, is there anything that really sticks out about them that confirms their natty status? Much love from New South Wales. It's a good question, man. We have this conversation probably once every week. Yeah. I mean, about who's, who's, who's out there claiming natty and who's actually full of shit? Because we know we've got pretty good inside info on who is and who isn't, and yeah. who the fake natties are, right? I mean, um, the thing is that there's no, you can't be definite unless you follow someone around 24 hours a day. Yeah, but there's, super, there's things that you look in there, which, which I mean- The easiest way to tell straight up is the amount, of, well, how much somebody weighs or the amount of muscle in proportion to their height is probably better. So yeah. obviously if you're taller, you're gonna weigh more uh, with reference to their age. Yeah. So if you're 18 years old, you're six foot two and you're rolling around at 95 kilos shredded, you're not natty. So don't tell people that you are. I wouldn't even go six two. What? I'd go even like 5'10". Yeah. If you're just carrying that much muscle at that young an age, on that frame, at that height, you guys know that that's not natty. That's probably the easiest way to tell. Yeah. Whereas if you're someone like Ulysses, how tall is Ulysses? 5'11", I reckon. Five, so let's say six foot, because the numbers work better. Six foot, he at the moment is just over 90 kilos shredded. Yeah. Been training for 20 years. Yeah. Natty, 100%. Simeon's the same. Simeon's taller. Simeon weighs, I think, just under 100. Yeah. He's, what, almost 30 now? Mm. Been training for 12, 15 years. If you listen, well, if you listen it's a lot thicker. Little 
is 19 years old, 5 foot 10, rolling around 100 kilos shredded, claiming natty. Traps out there. Not natty. Cannonball dealt and any worse than fucking. That's the best way to tell, man. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. Rob Jeffries wants to know, hey fellas, what are your thoughts on using dendrobium with a pre-workout? Have you tried it? And if so, do you notice any major changes? I've noticed a couple of pre-workouts now included. I was wondering uh, is it, if, if it's worth the investment. I wouldn't buy it as an individual product no. and add it to a pre-workout. No. It's, it's nothing like that. No. Plus, especially as you're adding another stimulant, you want to be careful what stimulants already in other pre-workouts. Yeah, that's it. Was it crazy that you used to have dendrobium? Well, dendrobium, it's not 100% certain if dendrobium does actually act as a stimulant. There's some research that say it may not. Mm. Dendrobium is one of those weird ingredients, man. It's not something I'd be buying and adding to a pre-workout. Yeah, me neither. I'm, 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 I, I've had it in pre-workouts before, to be honest. Mm. I am citrate is a sh I was just about to say, yeah, dendrobium. but that's not going to be bad. Connor Dawson, when is the uh, Asatori pre-grow raw review going to drop? Uh, next week, I guess. Next week, man. I've got a list. Uh, the list is now at 12. Raw reviews I have to shoot, so I'm literally going to lock myself in this room for two days next week and bust out as many raw reviews as possible. Mm. That's what's going on. And pre-grow is on that list of raw reviews. Uh, Sam Stone wants to know, Neve, Quest Bars. Yep. I got my first shipment last week. Flavors are on point. But do you think Quest should be held accountable for the hole in the ozone layer? Damn. Is it just my digestion of the sugar alcohols and the whey protein concentrate in them, or do you have issues with exhaust fumes and backfire with your rig? Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. And I mentioned this in the raw review for Quest Bars. Yeah. If you if you eat more than two of those bitches a day, well, I was having two a day and not good. I was nearly kicked out of the office. I nearly had to work in this room on my own. Yeah, and it's it's it is with sugar alcohol. Some people just can't digest sugar alcohol. Most people can't digest no. sugar. Well, you can't digest sugar alcohols. That's why they put them in there and they class them as non-active carbs. Mm. You're not supposed to be able to digest them. For some people, it can cause farts yeah. and shits and all yeah. kinds of digestive issues, yourself included. Yeah. So just drop the Quest Bar consumption down. What have you found to be like the optimal rate, uh, consumption of Quest Bars per day? Seven. <laughs> Where you're not in, shitting through the oven either. Like one, any more than yeah, that. I think fun. one is like max. But then Emily you know, David. But I, but I haven't had a Quest Bar in three weeks now. Yeah. And, and you feel I feel good. Yeah. I, I, I forgot what it felt like. like. I forgot Quest, what it felt like. Quest Bars are cool and shit. I've always been very suspicious about how good for you they actually are. They, they upset my stomach. Yeah. Emily David wants to know, can you recommend any joint supplements that don't contain fish oil or similar extracts? I want to take better care of my joints, but I'm highly allergic to seafood and so can't consume any products sourced from fish or self shellfish. Me too, Emily. Highly allergic. You're not allergic. I'm allergic to seafood, mother You are not. I can't eat that shit. Oh, you guys kill me. I I was at my mother's house the other night. She served up this salad. It was cheat meal night, Saturday night. She served up the salad. Next minute, takes my plate from underneath me. Goes, oh, I forgot that I put tuna in the salad. Do you forget you put tuna in the salad, Ma? Millie, you almost killed me. Millie's out of control. Damn. Anyway, answer the question. No, I don't know any. Joint support supplements that don't contain fish oil. You're holding one right now. Have you actually read the label? This product is intended to be consumed by healthy adults. Do not use it if allergic to shellfish, peanut, or sesame. Yeah, because it's produced on the... Emily, it depends how allergic you are. If you want something that doesn't contain fish oil, Neve, yeah, it doesn't contain fish oil. Insert product. Innerflex, Nutri-Key Innerflex. I'm allergic to seafood. I actually am. Neve likes You're taking the f allergic, I take Innerflex. I got no issue. If you are highly allergic to shellfish, you're gonna have a product, but you're gonna have a problem because a lot of products are produced in food manufacturing facilities that also manufacture shellfish products. So if it's trace elements that are gonna f you up, you're gonna have a problem. If it's not trace elements, go Nutri-Key Interflex. Mate, Christian hate. I'd be putting a disclaimer. I'd be putting a disclaimer in there. Wants to know. Hey guys, you seem to know just about everything there is to know about supplements, so I'm just wondering if there's any chance you would come out with your own line of sups like Mark Loebliner has done with MTS. And if so, what would you call it? Also, you guys are pretty much the only channel that goes balls deep into their products and tells people exactly what they're taking. You guys are awesome for doing that. Thank you. Christian, thank you for watching, man. We appreciate that. Neve, answer the question. Uh, 
Yeah, well, we've talked about it. <laughs> we've, we've, we've talked, talked about we've it, We've talked about doing pre-workouts and that kind of shit, but... Yeah. The thing is, we're, and we were, we were, yeah, we were pretty close to it. Well, this time, and then year. effectively, well, not even if you go back a few years, we were talking about yeah. it. And then what happened is Mark came along with MTS, and Doug Miller came along with Core, and these products are like, these are the sorts of products we would produce if we were going to do them, aren't they? Yeah. You look at Clash, and you go, F- man, if I was to make a pre-workout, that's what I'd make. Or the new Core Fury Extreme. If I was to make a high stim pre-workout, that's what I'd make. You look at Machine Fuel, Core ABC. If I was to make a BCAA supplement, that's what it would look like. You, you, so we, uh, we're trying to reinvent of, the wheel. Here, yeah, really. it's kind of like, what's the point when we can team up with these guys that make fantastic supplements and support them and they support us and the consumer wins in the end? It's the best scenario, isn't it? Yeah. That's what it's about. Mega Reaps wants to know, what are the best exercises for warming up your knees without knee sleeves before a leg workout? As I start to have pain at the beginning of my leg workout. Thanks guys, stay massive. I've been doing um, like laying hamstring curls. Yeah. To get a lot of blood, like, cause it doesn't, obviously doesn't fatigue my quads. Yeah. But yeah, it's getting blood flowing to my, well, yeah, all over my body. Yeah. Warming the knee joints up. Yeah. Uh, Joe does do, even like Joe does a bit of like light leg extensions, but that can hurt my knees too. Yeah. So I'll just do laying hamstring curls. Last question. Yep. I think, I think it's got to be. We're, we're bang on 40 minutes. Yeah, just about. Last question coming from Barney Ong. We'll get to the rest of the, the there's like, uh, there's like 25 questions. questions left. And we'll get to all of those next week. Barney wants to know, Nevosh, you mentioned that so far you've been to the USA and most recently visited Thailand to watch HBO. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't read this. I, haven't, I normally I have a little piece. Which to... which one place in the world would you like to visit the most going forward? Uh, it's a good um, question. Barney. America. No, he said that you've he said uh, you've been to the USA and Thailand. Which one place in the world would you like to visit the most going forward? Oh, other than that, other. I think he wants other. Well, if it's not other, it would be the US. It'd be LA. But if LA, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're was, going back there. We'll was, be back there in I six was, weeks. I was born for LA, really. If, if not the US or Thailand, where would it be? UK? I don't, I, I, this is something about me. Because we're going to no, body power next year. This is something about me and... Um, you get to travel to some cool places yeah, with your and, job, don't you? And a lot of people will struggle to understand this, but traveling does not interest me. Mm. I People book holidays and do shit. You're a I'm hermit not, crab. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, you like routine. I do. I'm, I'm not interested. Like I look forward to going to America cause I can train at different gyms. Yeah. And eat cool food. Yeah. Like I look forward to America because of the gyms. Yeah. I'm, I'm like routine of going to gyms. Yeah. And having supplements. Yeah. So I didn't like Thailand because there were no gyms and there were supplements. <laughs> no supplements. <laughs> but there was ballers on HBO. Yeah, there was, which is, <laughs> so I could watch people take. So where, the, answer the question. Where would you go? If it's not the U S or Thailand. It'd have to be somewhere warm. Yeah. Like UK, oh, I mean, yeah, it'd be cool to go to England and shit. It'll probably be the UK for body yeah. power next year because you'll be able to go to gyms and take stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, Name boss. Yeah, like people like go to, want to go to Greece and places like that. Joe doesn't, but. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? Barney, I'd go to LA. Before I tell the Or viewers. New York. The only place I've ever wanted to go is New York or LA and I've been to them luckily, so. To hit the subscribe button. You've been to them for work. Yeah. Hey. How awesome is that? That's amazing. And in New York, we didn't even do any work. We just trained at Steel Gym. Yeah, literally. I just wanted to take you to New York because I knew you wanted to go. Yeah. No. Oh, f- oh, bro, man. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of Weekly Word. I was going to say In the Gym with Team Master. We were shooting too many videos today. Weekly Word, In the Gym with Team Master Joe's and all the other deliciousness on hey, YouTube channel. No, and say what made its appearance this week, yesterday. What made its appearance? Oh! The episode in the voice. Yes! I almost forgot. Mm. And all, because we're back shooting them again, recent editions of Sup! Where are we coming to them from, Neve? MassiveJoes.com.